Toyota have admitted that the Toyota Mirai, their only basically kind of mass-produced hydrogen-powered car, is a complete failure. However, they have confirmed within the last 24 hours that in spite of its failure and its, well, its complete inability to get any traction with sales worldwide, they plan on continuing to invest more money in hydrogen-powered cars because apparently they will make up a significant portion of the automotive industry and you are more than likely to buy one within the next 10 years. How do you feel about that? Let me know in the comments. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you. Welcome back, everyone else. Now, guys, I'm coming to you from Newcastle here in Australia. And here in Australia, there are a lot of people who love Toyota and they hate it when I say anything negative about Toyota. But come on, the facts are the facts. The Toyota Mirai is just, it's ridiculously expensive. Uh, it's not, there's nothing good about it. And even Toyota has admitted it's been a failure. So please don't hate me in this, this situation. I'm just the messenger. Well, actually, I don't care if you hate me because I'm not a big fan of a hydrogen powered vehicles. And I think it's just misleading people. There's a lot of people who are really bought into the hydrogen Kool-Aid. They've been drinking the stuff real hard. I mean, they've been drinking the stuff like, like coconut water. Just, just imagine that says hydrogen Kool-Aid on the bottle and they're just smashing the stuff down. Like there's no tomorrow. I've had so many emails from people saying you have, you are so wrong about hydrogen cars, the future of the automotive industry. I mean, this is what everyone will be driving. They're so much better than EVs. Well, uh, no, they're not. It was a bit of a surprise, in my opinion, to see Toyota launch a second generation Mirai after the first generation, well, it was a sales flop. The hydrogen fuel cell vehicle Mirai was never a good seller. So if you don't know much about fuel cell vehicles, um, they're not just powered by hydrogen. You need a battery pack in there as well. You can't just drive the thing magically unless you have the immense privilege of driving Toyota's engines. Now, there is a YouTube video saying Toyota's CEO has, is going to kill the automotive industry and kill EVs with their new hydrogen engine. Well, about a week after that video was revealed, there was one of Toyota's, I believe is Lexus CEO, who is now the CEO of Toyota, was driving that vehicle around a track. It's actually a, just a simple internal combustion engine that runs on hydrogen and he melted it, it just melted because they run on incredibly lean, very, very high pressure. So hydrogen engines, I don't think anyone really believes they're gonna take off. They think if hydrogen is the future, the proponents of hydrogen say it will be hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. So how much does it cost to replace the fuel cell? Well, here's the thing, we don't really know, but I do know that about a month ago, someone in Europe was given a quote by their Toyota dealer for $110,000 to replace the fuel cell in their faulty Toyota Mirai. Anyway, two years after the original Mirai, Toyota is now saying it has not been successful with the company deciding to develop the technology for commercial vehicles. Toyota's chief technology officer, Hiroki Nakajima, said during the Japan Mobility Show that it has been difficult to realize hydrogen fueling stations, according to Autocar. Now, it doesn't take a genius to work out that building out a hydrogen network worldwide by yourself without much assistance for anyone else is not a great plan. This has limited the Toyota Mirai sales, that and the fact that it's twice as much money as a normal car, which has meant it has not been successful, said Toyota's engineer. According to the US Department of Energy's Alternative Fuels Data Center, there are only 57 hydrogen fueling stations in the US, or every single one of those is in California. So guys, if you were suckered into buying a hydrogen powered vehicle, you, I mean, I feel a bit sorry for you because you can't drive anywhere outside of California. The other interesting thing is that, you know when you drive to a gasoline station, right, a petrol station, and you fill up your car, generally, you, you, they can fill up thousands of vehicles on the single tank that they put in the ground. But hydrogen refueling stations can only fill up 50 cars each, 50. So, I mean, if you got 50 cars come through in say, I don't know, a day or even half a day, you've got to shut down the station after that. 
So it's really such a weird idea. I don't really understand why people think this would work. Anyway, they still do in spite of the fact that Toyota coming out and admitting to this. Now, after Toyota's engineers made these comments, Toyota came back and made a public statement, pretty much retracting these engineers' comments. Maybe they fired these guys, I don't know. But they said, no, 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 we plan on making passenger hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. They are the future. BMW agrees with Toyota and they're also investing in this. Now, surprisingly, not many people know this, but General Motors are also investing a lot of money into this as well. Nakajima told the publication, though, that hydrogen is better suited for cars that mainly travel between two locations, like commercial vehicles, such as trucking. Their often limited and specific use would make it easier to provide stable refueling options. Toyota and Isuzu announced earlier this month that the two would develop light hydrogen fuel cell trucks together. The first generation Mirai was a sales failure. It never cracked 2,000 sales. Uh, that's over the course of a year. The second generation one, well, it did a little better than that, but its sales were still very, very slow. Sales in 2022 were only 2,000, basically all across the United States. And I'm surprised that even 2,000 were sold. Toyota has sold 2,604 Mirais this year, which is an increase of 80% compared to the first nine months of 2022. Now, I'm really curious, does anyone know who's buying these cars? Now, it's not many. It's only 2,604 vehicles in a car market that's around 16 million cars a year. But honestly, I mean, what are you planning to do with it? Where are you going to drive? Just stay within California and hope that one of the fueling stations you go to has some fuel? Anyway, not every automaker, though, is hanging up the bat on hydrogen cars. Now, a lot of automakers have admitted that, no, no, it doesn't make sense. Honda is one of them. Uh, have admitted that EVs are actually the future of the automotive industry and it's just time to get with the program. But yeah, like I said, Toyota, they're committed. However, Honda did unveil a CRV-based crossover that has a fuel cell earlier this month. So even though Honda publicly said, no, 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 it's EVs, hydrogen isn't really going to work in passenger vehicles, they secretly were working on a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. It'll launch this vehicle, surprisingly, in the US and Japan next year. But there won't be many fueling stations available. Like I said, there's none outside of California. So if you're in another state in the US, um, yeah, you, you basically probably shouldn't buy one because you won't be able to refill it. Now, this hydrogen fuel cell vehicle that Honda unveiled is really just a different version of the CRV. It's a CRV that's been re-engineered um, to, be, to work as a hydrogen powered vehicle. Now it is an SUV, so that could help it with sales. That said, I still don't think it's gonna sell very well. Now we don't yet know the price range or anything else for it, but it's more than likely it's gonna cost about twice as much as an equivalent EV or about maybe two and a half times as much as the gasoline powered version of the CRV, which is not a bad car actually for a gasoline petrol powered car. Now, like I said before, Toyota and other companies such as Yamaha, not many others though, are working on hydrogen combustion engines. And if you were to believe some of the um, clickbait YouTube videos out there, they're going to destroy the automotive industry. Hydrogen engines. Yeah. Well, a company introduced a new race engine concept. This engine makes 410 horsepower. So you can actually buy a hydrogen powered engine if you think that that's um, a good idea. Anyway, this year's Japan Automotive Mobility Show, Toyota showed off a hydrogen combustion buggy that it designed in collaboration with Honda, Suzuki, and Kawasaki, which they say could have a future in passenger cars. Now, like I said, Toyota actually do have a hydrogen engine race car. I believe it's a Toyota Corolla. It's got a basically a reworked internal combustion engine that runs on hydrogen, but it has melted down a few times. Now, keep in mind, these hydrogen engines run an incredibly lean. So lots and lots of air, not a lot of fuel. They run very hot as a result, and therefore they can melt. Motor One reached out to Toyota about the future of the Miro sedan, and Toyota responded saying, well, the Miro is basically dead in the water. Um, sorry, everyone who bought one, but um, yeah, I mean, it's finished. That said, they do plan on bringing out some other hydrogen powered vehicles because according to Toyota, um, many of you will be driving them. In fact, 
Toyota believe around half the automotive industry will be hydrogen by 2035. This is not trucking, this is passenger cars. In my opinion, this is just utterly delusional, but hey, that's just my opinion. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.